What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over CTAs. So what is a CTA? When it comes to marketing and advertising, a CTA stands for call to action. A call to action defined is any instruction that you're giving to a potential customer so that they perform a specific action. So if we're going to use some examples, let's start with number one. Let's just say a travel destination is promoting summer vacation deals. Let's say they're using Facebook ads. So they're running Facebook advertisements and every single advertisement tells potential customers to book now. It might say book now and save, book now to lock in the best deal, anything like that. So they're using the words book now for the best travel deals. So what is the call to action? In this case, the call to action, pretty simply, it's book now. So we're gonna use another example here. Let's say Surfside PPC is promoting a free three hour digital marketing video. So I basically want people to subscribe to my email list and in return, they're gonna get a free three hour digital marketing video. So I tell people to subscribe to my email list to watch the video. In this case, the call to action is gonna be subscribe. Now you could make the case it's subscribe to watch, subscribe and watch the video, subscribe to get access to the video. So all of those can count too as the call to action, but the main call to action that I'm telling people to, to do is to subscribe. So in that case, that would be my call to action. So looking at some common call to actions that businesses use. So some of the short ones, shop, shop now, subscribe, book, contact, discover, sign up, watch, learn more. These are some shorter examples you're gonna see for call to actions. And then some of the longer examples, book an appointment, start your free trial, book now and save, reserve your seat, sign up for 20% off. So you can use some of these different longer variations for call to actions. And when we're looking at what call to action that a business should use, I mean, some different tips, you wanna make sure your offer is as clear as possible. You wanna make sure people know exactly the action that you want them to take. So if you have a local service business, maybe you want people to book an appointment. So when they get onto your website, make sure that you say book an appointment with us today so that people know that that is the step that you want them to take. You wanna use the most relevant call to action for the next step you want customers to take. You can test longer and shorter variations. So if we come back over here and we look at some of these common call to actions. So just for example, start your free trial. You could say start your free trial with a business. So you can incorporate your business name into the call to action. So there's a lot of different things you can try to do, but you wanna test longer and shorter variations to see what helps your conversion rates. And the call to action in your advertisements should match the call to action on your website. So if we come back over here and we're looking at example two, if I'm telling people to subscribe to watch the video on my website, what I don't wanna do from the advertisement is say click here to watch the video because then what's gonna happen is people are gonna click on the advertisement, go to my website and think that they're gonna have access to the video when in reality the call to action is I want them to subscribe. Okay, so let's come over here and just look at a few different examples from marketing companies. So some pretty large marketing companies, first one HubSpot.com. So you can see right here, theirs is get HubSpot free. So that's their call to action. So they actually incorporated their business name in the call to action. And rather than saying start a free trial, they have get HubSpot free. Get started with free tools and upgrade as you grow. Now Ahrefs uses start a seven day trial for $7. They've had this call to action for years i mean as long as i can remember this has been their call to action start a seven day trial for seven dollars so that's what they want you to do is start using this and see if you like it if you if you still like it then you can look at some of their other pricing plans now spyfu on the other hand theirs is a little bit different they have enter your competitor's website at the top so what they want you to do is enter a competitor's website so you can see what their dashboard looks like and that's essentially how they're going to sell to you now, if you do scroll all the way to the bottom of this page, you're gonna see they have Try Spy Food Today risk-free. So just another example of a call to action. I like some of these longer variations that companies use where it's Try Us Today risk-free, Try risk-free for 60 days because it encourages people to sign up for their plan, for the software, for whatever it is that they're offering. So if you have any questions about call to actions, it's basically just the next step you want people to take as they go through the process of becoming a customer for your business. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.